teacher talk in sports, what it does, what it do, how we live. And yesterday, we saw a bunch of big-name players get injured in their games. Anthony Davis was forced to leave for a short while, but did come back. Tyler Hero broke his hand, expected to miss four to six weeks. And then we saw two injuries, mostly due to a player trying to draw a charge. We saw it in the Bucks heat game, where Giannis Antetokounmpo went up. Kevin Love went under him, trying to draw a charge. Antetokounmpo landed rather roughly um, and ended up with a back contusion. Tried to come back in the game. Clearly wasn't able to come. Clearly wasn't able to stay on the court. Pretty much missed the last three quarters of the game. And John Morant went up. Anthony Davis went under him, trying to draw a charge. Morant landed hard, tried to brace his fall with his arm. Unfortunately, hurt his wrist and was forced to miss the rest of the game. His game two status is in question. Not really sure about the Greek freak yet, whether he will play game two. But Zach Harper of The Athletic brought up that the NBA should ban the charge. I'm not going to lie. That's something I haven't necessarily thought of. We see the charge as a player sacrificing his body for the betterment of the team. I'm a Knicks fan. Jalen Brunson has done it quite often this season. We see guys, almost like fringe rotation guys do it. Like, for example, Kenrich Williams with the Thunder uh, became somewhat of an expert at drawing charges. Of course, Kyle Lowry, uh, his whole career has, a lot of it has been predicated on being able to draw charges uh, of course, he was a great player other than that, but I'm saying um, he's been doing it throughout his career. Uh, but, you know, with two major names getting injured, two superstar players getting injured, and it's not like those are the first two injuries due to players drawing charges. Um, Harper actually makes a great point. He mentions how, and I'm not sharing the article because the athletics behind a paywall, but uh, he mentions how, you know, three-point shooters now, the player can't land under them. So why is it different for a charge? They're basically going under the player. We saw it with Giannis. Kevin Love stepping in. We saw it with John Morant. Um, Anthony Davis going under him. And with the players becoming so much more athletic as years go by, um, injuries like this could be more frequent. You know, we see John Morant trying to dunk over seven footers from the free throw line. Uh, he's not the only one. Um, and... You know, the charge is kind of a guy out of defensive position, um, you know, just standing there, um, you know, not stationary, um, excuse me, stationary, um, trying to make a defensive play when he, otherwise he might not have been in position. Um, defenses have had an unfair advantage of late. Um, you know, we see scores that were in the 80s and 90s back in the 90s. Now, if you uh, hold a team to under 100 it's a rather impressive feat we see games of 40 points and 50 points being uh, happening more frequently uh, so Harper has some ideas including uh, bringing back hand checking hand checking's been out of the game since like the early 2000s so um, definitely would help the perimeter defenders uh, keep their man in front of them also mentioning how um, defensive players shouldn't be called for fouls when offensive players are jumping into them unnaturally. If you remember, the NBA was supposed to crack down on that, and for a brief while they did. It doesn't seem to be much of the case anymore, and it also mentions bringing back penalties for flopping. Um, you, you don't really hear about that anymore, players getting fined for flopping, and we did see it for a little bit. Uh, for some reason, that has stopped. Um, I know in Knicks-Cavs game one, uh, Julius Randle kind of went up like this, and I might have been Karis LeVert I, or Isaac Okoro, I don't recall, um, you know, went down in, in a heat. Uh, when we saw on the replay, it looked like Randle clearly missed him. So mm, the amount of flopping that goes on, uh, you know, maybe guys sh should be penalized for it. Um, so that doesn't occur, but what are your thoughts? That's what I mainly want to know. Do you think the NBA should look into banning the charge? Uh, kind of been a staple of the game, at least pretty much during my lifetime. Um, and I'm pretty sure it was during the infancy of the NBA as well. Um, but let me know in the comments, is that something the NBA should look into? Do you think the charge should be banned? And it's not just because of these two guys. We've seen other injuries uh, due to players 
um, trying to draw a charge. Not always the player um, who um, gets the charging foul called on them, but sometimes it's a player trying to draw the charge as well. You know, I've seen Brunson slow to get up a few times after she drew charges. Just an interesting uh, article that I read. And, you know, let's keep our fingers crossed that we don't see many more injuries in this postseason after yesterday. Don't forget to subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to subscribe. Like the video, share the video, hit the bell for notifications. I'm out.